Hello everyone, today we'll be doing a, um, another success video. Today we'll be doing Finland. Um, honestly, I just randomly chose it, because why not? And, you know. But anyways, let's get, let's just get started, um, you know, Finland. Um. So what Finland will do, um, since Estonia is technically a fifth nation, um, you know, this... This isn't really gonna go well for them. I don't know why Finland would decide to invade, but you know, let's just get started anyways. Um, so with the first parts of the invasion, uh, Finland is going to take these islands uh, and stuff, and they are going to land here, which they just do. With uh, troops coming to this area right here, Finland is going to take their chance to take Taiwan. Tallinn, sorry, um, and, and with much, uh, the organization kind of gone over here, the forces are able to encircle this part and extend the further and further, and it, it's just not looking good, they, their capitals took them, and their western part is literally about to fall. And with basically almost no military left, um, the Estonians are going to surrender, and what is going to happen is a annexation of Estonia. So, we've already got here started off a Finnic Union, which I would say. It, it, it looks pretty interesting, and it looks pretty cool too, so, you know, yeah. And the invasion of Norway, the... Um, you can kind of see how this is going to go. Um, Finland, it's just going to go ahead and take the icy parts. Because Finland, I think, like, they can basically handy, handle, like, snow. Just snow. And the gold, too. Well, every Scandinavian country. And um, Finland's going to bring down a big, big amount of army. Well, a decent army. Uh, to this area, and eventually it's going to stop, and then they agree to a peace treaty. Um, this peace treaty isn't really gonna be surprising because you know, peace treaty. Um, so uh, the borders are going to be interesting, it's going to be very similar. And, uh, and with a lot more stuff, it's just, it's looking really good for Finland, their economy is actually doing well, their military, it's, it's going well too, Go, basically almost everything is going well in Finland, and yeah. So Russia's gonna be a little bit stunned by this, I mean, they wouldn't really like this at all. And we can see Finland kind of invading Sweden over here and taking this part. But I think Finland would also want that juicy Corellia, which is, I think, Finnic. They could also get access to nuclear bombs, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, they can become nuclear power. But anyways, uh, Sweden right off the bat is going to be invaded. That looks a little weird. It's in uh, dark green because it looks like it's just like the only one with the planes and stuff. But anyways, the Finnish forces, they are going to, uh, well, Sweden's a pretty strong country in 2024, um, but, you know, gotta give Finland a buff. You know. With, uh, basically naval distractions over here and stuff, they do, uh, tend to take this island, um, cool. And we can just kind of see here that Finland will do little naval invasions on the coast of Sweden to kind of distract them and withdraw forces from here. It's all the way to over here. I'd say that's a pretty good plan. Uh, and with those rift withdrawals, they are able to pretty much gain, gain uh, th things. But anyways, I think Finland's pretty much just going to want to, you know, do stuff. With more and more Finnish army appearing in this area, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna try to expand. 
but it, 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 it just wasn't enough Finnish troops. And Sweden immediately kicks them, kicks them out. This is not good for Sweden, but for Finland, but um, it's it's it was a good distraction. And with at least a thousand killed over here, uh, I don't know how much the Swedish army has, but you know, probably over fifty thousand. It's definitely got to be over fifty thousand. They are a pretty strong country. Finland, uh, they're they're just they're just doing stuff over here. They really want this land. It's, they want um, Eastern Sweden. So I think some agreement is gonna be made. Uh, so what's gonna happen is that Norway is gonna give access, military access to Finland. Here's uh, th it's really weird, but uh, because they kind of just fought a war, but I think Finland would just threaten them. Because they pretty much pushed them down here, then you know down here, and I don't think the Norwegians really want that. So you know, yeah, but it's not really going to take effect that much. But they are going to make a invasion over here, and with more Swedish deaths and stuff, you know, the uh, Finland's also going to try to get access to the to I'm is this the Gulf of Finland or is it, or is this the Gulf of Finland? Because if this is the Gulf of Finland then I believe they just basically have full access to it. But anyways the war keeps going on and it's pretty much almost kind of at its stalemate. Um not really because the Finnish have been exercising and practicing with their soldiers right here. And they've gained like maybe Hold on, let me see. Uh, what is What's the population? Okay, so they gained quite a bit, and anyways, I probably <laughs> okay. Uh, e. Alrighty, we're back. I just had to do something. Anyways, um. Here we are, uh, the Finnish Swedish war. It it's probably looking, you know, it's not looking great for Sweden, but it's also not going great. So an operation is, is going to be made to put the whole forces right here, but the the, the probably the Swedish would probably. Can. So what the uh, Finnish would do, they would send the most of their navy to Stockholm, while the other goes here. And you know, yeah, but no, actually, the other goes here and kind of surprise Tex Texan. So, this plan goes into action, and this plan it goes, it's it goes okay. And, um, with this stuff, uh, the Finland's just barely able to get to here, but after that. The peace treaty is gonna be made, and it's it's gonna be something. So here's the peace treaty I'm gonna give y'all or Finland. Uh, Finland is going to have access to um over here. they're gonna have access to like maybe this part of the of the sea. And they're gonna have access to, um, Allen. No, not Allen. I don't know what that island was called again. But anyways, uh... Anyways, um... It's just... Honestly, it's honestly going great for the Finnish. But they do have one challenge, and that is Russia. They do want... They really do want, uh, Corellia. And, um, yeah. This 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 is kind of a hard decision for Finland to make. Either they don't redeclare war on Sweden and Norway, and possibly getting lots of land like this much, or they can try to take the Bal Bal Baltics. They decide. Hold on. Let's sw let's switch the plan. So this is before twenty uh, twenty two, and. 
surprise of the end. Once the, you know. Oh, oh. The war is going on over here, so Finland is like, you know what? Let's. This is a good time to go ahead and attack Russia. And actually, it was a smart idea because, you know, they wouldn't be expecting this from Finland at all. So. Um. Yeah. Finland's gonna go ahead and, like, just move their forces to Karelia, this part of Karelia. And. And they're gonna also try to get to uh, St. Petersburg. It, because if they do, they'll be getting they'll be getting whatever they want. You know. So Finland, um, they start to move their army already in Karelia, and it goes smoothly. It goes it goes quite well. There aren't really much armies over here, so Finland is able to maybe cut their will almost cut them off. But Finland is gonna go ahead and try the cup cut them off at this lake so supplies will be lowered and we'll try to make some advances over here but uh, of course st petersburg it's got some stuff and oh if that happens the finish are gonna go ahead and try to take this as well and heavy heavy the defense forces are in estonia right now the Russians, they're they're gonna they're gonna try to get to Estonia, try to take their capital, but it um it doesn't appear to go well because I think a full scale I think there's like a full scale invasion of Ukraine that's happening in 2022. But anyways, the um Finland gets bombed. That is not good at all for Russia. They have lost their nukes. This is this is a sad day for Russia. But they won't give up still because you know stuff. Anyways, they um the Finnish they're able to get over to this island over here. No, lake, lake. I meant lake. Um, and stuff. Though they they do make some small advances to Saint Petersburg, but nothing, nothing, nothing so big. Um, but just the the Russians do start to slow down as. Uh, Finnish forces from here start to arrive more in the area here, which it's it's not good. It's not good for Russia at all, because the the main the it's just a lot of recruitments are being made in Finland right now, and it's not going well for Russia. So this part, this this might as well just kind of capitulate. But Finland's gonna go ahead and just see if they can capitulate the area. If they do, they're gonna be happy. But if they don't, uh, they're just gonna have to take the whole thing. Which they have to take the whole thing. They are not going to surrender. And surrendering, they won't. The Finnish, uh, they do make advances here. Not big advances, but stuff. And with more and more uh, troops coming here, the Finnish are able to make some small comebacks in the area. Overall, this is a bloody war. Um, stuff. And. Technically, half armies here and half armies here, but you know, countries can have large militaries with small populations. Okay, so, anyways, Finland, they're going to have to take the whole area, which they indeed do. And they're gonna see if they can probably uh, go to this island. Well, not, not, why am I calling it an island so much? Okay, they, they do make uh, advancement here, and they do try to take this part of the Arctic Ocean, I think. So part of the yeah, Arctic Ocean. And they do connect up with this lake. Um and with just more and more overall troops arriving in St. Petersburg, the the Finnish are really gonna have to start being precise on this one. And Estonia, it's pretty much a stalemate there. Uh and with just heavy losses and stuff, Russia's gonna try to peace treaty with them, and they do peace treaty with them. And here, here's the th the, 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 the Russia might Russia's gonna take a little bit out of Estonia right here, but the obvious victor here is uh, Finland with their, you know, they took advantage of the war. Anyways, uh, oh wait, oops. Um, they're gonna be given a uh, Corellia. The finisher, 
And this part of Estonia, well, no, actually, just the whole part of Estonia. So it's going to be taken, but it's not a big, it's not a big deal. It's seriously not a big deal. Dear, dear, deal, deal. Oh my god. And the Finnish, they're they're just able to do stuff. They're able to um, take this cool. Who Corelli apart? But they do, they, they do lose some. Sadly. Oh, wait, no. It's supposed to be white. I said something weird. Okay. <laughs> um, this this may look ugly, but, um, you know. Yeah, and it's the, these, this, this, this is probably going to be almost the end of this video. Currently, um,. Uh, so, um, yeah, if, um, you know, stuff, so overall, the, this, Finland's going to take one last step against the Scandinavians, and Scandinavia, just a lot of deaths overall, not, not good. But let's see who wins. It seems pretty obvious, but okie dokie. So, with the war ending in Russia, they could easily nuke St Stockholm and Oslo. 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 <laughs> I I don't even I don't even want to talk about it anymore. So, with the fish, uh, more stronger, they are able to push further and further into. Sweden and Norway in their northern parts. While the navy is also upgraded, they are able to make a little attacks on Stockholm in the eastern side of of Scandinavia, aka Sweden. Um, in the north, it is it is like blitzkrieg right there. It's very fast. It goes by very fast, but it's just kind of like the Soviet Union and Germany. It is going to slow down eventually. But um, this this time the Finnish they 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 were more prepared, and so with them slowing down a little bit, it's just you know kind of odd. The Swedish are able to make a, a comeback in in this part. I don't know what state that is, but if if you know what that state is, a province. Probably it's a province. It's 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 in a province. It's got to be in a province. But if it's in that province, then I I don't I don't I don't know Swedish provinces. So um, yeah. So I I've seen a dude that literally did all of the all of the subdivisions in this world. I I'm incredibly impressed. No no other human could do that. But anyways, uh. The Finnish are going to go ahead and focus on Norway here, because if they can get Norway to surrender, they can eventually push through the west, and it's not going to look pretty for Sweden after this, after whatever Sweden, went, Finland's about to do. Sorry, I'm, it's like, it's kind of late. <laughs> uh, so, so the, the Finnish, they pay attention, um, it's like what they're gonna do, and with the Norwegians, they they see that they're uh, that they're mo the Finnish are mostly focused on them. Swedish, they're gonna try to push them back, but since the Finnish already know like kind of what's gonna happen if they know, so the Finnish immediately push back over here. It's a total war. I I don't know, man. It it. Uh, it ain't it ain't looking pretty for any side, but um, Finland does start to do a spearhead little thing. I don't know what a spearhead is. Um, I I do, but it's just Finland's able to make some advances in uh the over here. It's it's just you know yeah. The, the front over in northern Sweden, it is looking great for Finland. And just overall, 
more with more stuff happening that's all i gotta say and Finland's gonna focus on the western part of norway now because they they're starting to they're starting to lose morale more more morale more morale i think i think that's what how you say it but anyways, they're starting to lose more morale and moral, morale, yeah, morale. They're starting to lose morale pretty quickly over here in Norway. Well, in Sweden, it's it's low, but it's not as low as Norway's. Since there, since there is low mor morale, it's it's not like it's not gonna look good. Um, uh, like Os Oslo. I swear, uh, Oslo, it's, it's going to pretty much fall, but the Norwegians, they, they're, they're, they, they want to keep the city safe, they don't, don't, they don't want anyone to do anything, but the Finnish are able to push hard and hard and hard and hard, and they eventually take Oslo, and that's pretty much game over for Sweden. Without Norway um, and Finland's way, they quickly push down into Sweden brutally, and Finland does start to lose. No, well, Sweden starts to lose focus on the north, and does try to absolutely protect itself from any by any means. But it it's still not looking good. And with one final blow, literally about to, uh, one final blow, and that is Stockholm gone. The Finnish bombed it, not nuclear-wise, but, like, bombed it. Just big boy, big boy bomb. And with this happening, Sweden, they, they're going to capitulate. And that's, that is, that. I, I, if you hear that, then, I'm, if you, if you comment that you heard me clicking constantly, then I'm going to pin you. Trust, trust me, trust, the first person to say that. Um, so anyways, big, big parts of Sweden are going to be taken, taken. Uh, and Norway are going to be taken. So this part, this is going to be some sort of, like, territory of Finland. Not a part of Finland. So, boom. That is territory. And, uh, and overall, this dish empire, it's, it's looking great. Let me just color this in. And let me see the, the, the thing that I made. Oh boy, this is a big looking. Alright, so that is all for this video. If you liked it, you can like it, you can subscribe, I don't care. Just, just get up off the channel, I don't care if you don't. And anyways, have a good day. Um, and see ya. Bye.